Hi all, my name is Amit and welcome to Microsoft Business Intelligence SSAS session. In today's session we are going to talk about how to write MDS queries. Today is the first session, we are going to have total 6 sessions in which we will talk about how to write basics to advance MDS query. Okay. Let's get started. So MDS query is very similar to SQL query. MDS query and SQL query share the similar structure but they are different in terms of source and conceptual view. The conceptual difference between MDS query and SQL, SQL query designed for relational database whereas MDS query designed for multidimensional database. They do the same purpose. You see when you write a SQL query you consider you have a table structure like this which consists of columns whereas when you write a MDS query you consider your table structure it's a cube, it's not a table, it's a cube which consists of different dimension, the three-dimensional view. Who uses MDX? See MDX has become a standard now. It is being used by most of the OLAP server from different vendors. It is used Microsoft SSAS. It is used by Oracle BI, Oracle Hypian product called iSpace and many other OLAP products use MDX because it's a standard now. Every time you write a MDX you need to make a you know picture in your mind how it's going to look like the typical structure is going to be select name of your access or a column name rows or column from cube name and slicer slicer is optional in select clause you can write expression which could be your column or it could be your row or a combination of both and the rows and columns so it's going to be a cross tabular view of column and rows from cube name and where clause. Where clause specify your slicer. I would recommend you to you know design a logical structure, graphical view before you start writing MDS query. This gives you a very clear picture about what you're going to design. For example, I want my data to be displayed in this fashion. It's a two-dimensional view. Select January, February, March, which is in column, and province, it's in row. In the same fashion, I can have three-dimensional view. Time dimension is my column and rows I've got province and store manager, a sales manager. So visualizing this way it is easy for you to design a query. Now we see, we'll take a couple of simple examples and see how to write a query. The quick overview, my query would consist of select statement, select clause which is which consists of dimension member, dimension members and it has from clause which specify cube name and where clause which is optional is specify slicer. Let's write a basic query. In today's example I am going to use AdventureWorks SSAS cube which we built in a previous session. Select SQL Server Management Studio and uh, I am using latest version of SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server 2014. I connect and I see I've got a list of databases available. I would be using Adventure Work, which is my database for today's session. I click on New Query, and the query would be MDS query automatically because my source was multi-dimensional database. Right? It consists of your query pan, and you can select your cube over here. You can select your major group, and there are a list of functions that are available over here. In the first example, we write a simple query. I write select and whatever dimension or member I want I select over here let's say I like to display list of product two options I have I can choose a product from a flattened structure or I can cube take a product from hierarchy I'll take product category from hierarchy from on column name on columns from cube name you see one thing over here um, we define dimension members by in square braces so dimension name member hierarchy and member name dimension name hierarchy and member name on column from cube name let's select this and press F5 key to process this is my data I got all the dimension member from product category and you see I have not specified any major but still it is takes a major the majors are some of all the majors because I have not specified explicitly alternatively I could have given a major on my rows. So select product category in column and in rows I'll select uh, one of my major I select internet sales 
internet sales major is internet sales right I drag and drop and place over here on rows so it would be two dimensional views rows and column which is product category in column and rows internet sales in this example I use a hierarchy I could have used a flattened member as well and use a member called X function called members I'm going to rewrite this example once again select uh, and this time I use a product select product category is a flattened member not a hierarchy and use a word over here members on column from my cube name adventure works so my basic query is ready I select this and process once again so what difference you find in first query output and second query when I use the term members I also see a member over here called all product which is aggregated of all the product category whereas when I do not use members I use category as my hierarchy member I don't get all I just get a list of all the product category so you've got two options similarly we have got more options called children descendant ancestor parent we'll see them as we proceed further so these are a couple of simple examples now let's see next important term called excess I use a word called column and row I could have used an excess which is 0 to 129 and 0 represents your column 1 represents your 0 represents your column 1 represents your rows 2 represents your page and so on up to 129 excess we can specify right let's write the same query and I would replace the rows and column with excess I copy this query paste it over here I terminate this query and I would replace my rows column to 0 which represent my column and 1 represent my row select it and process it works in the same fashion right alright so basic examples are done let's see another important topic called tuples or tuple and set what is tuple or tuple it's a multidimensional abstraction of members where a set is a composed of order of tuples so this is your tuple and this collection of tuple is your set right tuple comprises of one member from each reference dimension it cannot have null values or it is used under parenthesis right let's write a simple example so in my this case I like to see different product and promotion right? product and promotion I'll put them in a common tuple so let's take an individual product select I'll choose a one product and promotion I can use all product or I could use a specific product for the sake of testing I use product category product category accessories and because it's a tuple I'll put in a parenthesis product category intersection with promotion type I've got another dimension called promotion I use promotion type there are various promotion type I use one promotion called discontinue product and you see over here we use a reference you know ampersand reference fourth position name and ampersand reference first position so this is my discontinue product this is my set which consists of two members product category intersection with discontinue price and I want this to appear in column with intersection with my internet amount sales so I simply copy this and paste over here and put a comma over here as a separator select this and run it you get an intersection of uh, all the internet sales with the combination of product category accessories and discontinue product we do not have any data with this combination but that is fine this is your tuple right tuple could in turn be collection of multiple dimension member reference now let's talk about set so I've chosen over here discontinue product for my accessories I like to see the combination of new product as well so my once product would be uh, accessories the combination of discontinue product right now so I'll use a different 
promotion category accessories I use in this example intersection with uh, called discontinue product this is my one set I create another set and collection of set is your tuple I'll use accessories intersection with no discount or another discount called new products right and the set first tuple another tuple and collection of them is your set I put them in a curly braces right let's do this I'll take an extension to this select under curly braces you define your set your first set is combination of I put under parenthesis combination of first tuple combination of my product category accessories and my promotion type is discontinue products this is my first tuple I create another tuple which is intern combination of another one comma I can simple copy it or use another tuple is accessories intersection with another promotion type called new product two tuple they group together as one common set and I want them to display in column and I'll continue to use my internet sales as my row select it and process did I miss something yeah I missed a comma over here so I have got two tuples one accessories and discontinue product another tuple accessories and no product and combination of these two tuple is my set in the same fashion you can write any complex expression of writing tuple and set now let's take another example of cross join we can use a cross join which forms a Cartesian product of dimension member so in this example I'll take a cross join cross join for all months intersection with or cross join with all product internet sales product internet sales right let's do this so I write select cross join you see it comes of set my first set is my all products okay. I choose product category to make it smaller I use product category intersection with my all months <coughs> So I've got a date dimension over here. I use month, a month name, month members, right? They are different months I've got. Or I could use a, a week of the month or date or year. To make my query smaller, I make use year. So it's a combination intersection or cross product of all product categories and all years. Should be displayed on columns and then I display any rest I keep it like this majors in my rows from adventure work let's process this and see how it works I see a combination of all product category these are different product categories with different years right years are displaying as all majors so I could use in turn a specific year or I could use a term called members or I could use some member from my hierarchy if I want all the years so I would remove a year and I enter and use a hierarchy in a year you know date dimension my year okay my year is a flattened structure date of the month anyway I use this members month of the year and run it so I displaying I'm still getting all month of the year so I use a function called members okay. 
you see so all product category intersection with all the months right all possible combination are being shown over here so these are a simple example we discussed today we continue our session in tomorrow's class as well we'll talk about more advanced example of writing mds query so thank you joining today's session in order to access more videos please subscribe to our youtube channel for training and consulting inquiries please log into our site called bispsolutions.com thank you